Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's digital age, data is more abundant than ever before. For businesses and researchers alike, making sense of this data is crucial. That's where time series analysis comes into play. It's a powerful tool that allows us to extract meaningful insights from temporal data. And guess what? We're going to explore it today using R, a versatile and widely used programming language. But before we dive into the technical aspects, let's clarify what time series analysis is and why it's essential. Time series data is a sequence of observations recorded at regular time intervals. You can find this type of data in various domains, from finance, with stock prices, to meteorology, with temperature readings, and even in economics, tracking GDP growth. Time series analysis helps us understand the underlying patterns, trends, and dependencies within such data. It's the key to making predictions, identifying anomalies, and making informed decisions. And you know what makes it even better? R. It's an excellent choice for this task due to its rich ecosystem of packages tailored for time series analysis. So, how do you get started with time series analysis in R? Well, first, you'll need to have R and R Studio installed on your computer. If you haven't already done so, here's how you can get started. First, head over to the LR project website by visiting URL CRAN or project.org. In the Download and Installer section, you can select the version of R that suits your preferences. If you're a Windows user, simply click on Download R for Windows. For R Studio, navigate to posit.co website and click on the Download R Studio button. This will ensure you have the necessary tools to embark on your time series analysis journey. Once you have R and R Studio set up, it's time to load the libraries that we'll use throughout this analysis. In R, libraries are collections of functions and data sets that extend the capabilities of the base R environment. For time series analysis, we'll need the following libraries. Now, let's take a closer look at the data we'll be working with. This data set, called Air Passengers, contains valuable information about monthly air passenger counts over several years. It's significant because it helps us understand historical trends and patterns in air travel. By loading and inspecting the data, we can get a sense of its structure and the information it contains. This step is crucial for understanding the data before diving into analysis. But before we apply any time series analysis techniques, we need to ensure that our data is in the right format. This includes handling missing values, converting data types, and creating a time series object. In practice, time series data may have missing values. To handle these, we can use the na.approximate function from the zoo package, which interpolates missing values based on adjacent observations. And to perform time series analysis, we need to create a time series object in R. We can use the ts function to achieve this. Now, before diving into advanced modeling techniques, it's essential to visualize and explore the data to gain insights. We start with a time series plot that provides a visual representation of passenger numbers over time. This helps us observe any underlying trends or seasonality. And then, we use a decomposition plot to identify the trend and seasonal components within the data. Finally, with our data explored, it's time to move on to time series modeling. We're going to use the popular ARIMA model to make predictions. We start by fitting an ARIMA model using the auto.arima function. This function automatically selects the best ARIMA model based on the data's characteristics. The results of the ARIMA model reveal valuable insights, such as the model specifications and estimated coefficients that provide information on how past observations influence future passenger numbers. Specifically, the positive values of AR1 and AR2 suggest a positive autocorrelation in the data, indicating that past values have a positive impact on future passenger numbers. The negative MA1 coefficient implies a strong negative effect of past forecast errors on the current observation. Additionally, the FIT statistics show a relatively high variance in the model's residuals. 
the log likelihood is minus 504.92, indicating a reasonably good fit. However, the AIC and BIC values suggest that there may be room for model improvement or exploration of alternative model specifications. Now that our model is in place, we can make future predictions. Let's forecast airline passenger numbers for the next 12 months. The forecast table provides a range of predictions for each month, taking into account different levels of confidence. This helps anticipate future trends. The wider the prediction interval, 95%, the more conservative the prediction, as it accounts for a larger range of potential outcomes. Conversely, the narrower interval, 80%, provides a more specific but less conservative estimate. And to make it even clearer, let's create a visual representation of our forecasted passenger numbers for the upcoming 12 months. Here on the x-axis, you can see time. It spans from January 1961 to December 1961. On the y-axis, we have the passenger counts. It's essentially the estimated number of passengers for each of these upcoming months. Now, this line right here, it represents the model's point forecasts. In simple terms, it's showing us what the model predicts the passenger counts will be for each month in 1961. You might also notice these shaded areas around the line. These represent prediction intervals. In other words, they show the range within which the actual passenger counts are likely to fall, based on the model's predictions. In this tutorial, we've covered the fundamentals, set up our environment, pre-processed the data, visualized it, and applied time series modeling techniques to make forecasts. Time series analysis is a powerful tool that can provide valuable insights for decision-making in various domains. With ours extensive capabilities and packages, you're well equipped to tackle time series data and extract meaningful information. So, whether you're analyzing financial trends, predicting stock prices, or forecasting future sales, R is your go-to tool for mastering time series analysis. With the knowledge and skills gained from this guide, you can confidently embark on your own time series analysis projects. Stay tuned for more data-driven content, and as always, happy analyzing!